So before we start this video, I want to point out that every single Ford armor I used was brand new, bought straight from the traders. I didn't use any recycled Ford armors, nothing like that. I wanted to be accurate with the testing. I ended up using more Ford armors than this, but luckily I had a sufficient supply of Bitcoins. They almost nerfed us. Anyways, I made sure every shot hit the Ford armor also, by the way. But yeah, starting off with the macro. I went in order of what I think are like the worst guns all the way up to sniper rifles. I did a video just like this on the fast helmet, if you guys want to check that out. I'm sure most of you already seen it. But uh, in that video, the fast helmet took 16 Makarov shots. And in this video, at least it's a little more. I'd be mad if it was less shots, considering a headshot should have more damage. But as you can see, I've, I think I've already had to reload twice now. Yeah, two reloads to get 20 hits. Spawns on woods are great. On to the TT using PST GZH rounds. I, I looked at the ammo charts and I used the highest penetrating ammo for uh, every gun. And as you can see, we already had to reload. That was nine shots and then another three making it 12 hits. It seems to zero out the Ford armor. Um, if you don't zero out the Ford armor, you don't really take damage. You have to get the Ford armor pretty low before the player actually starts taking any kind of damage. I missed that last shot. It would have been 11, but it was actually 10 hits. Under the shrimp, which is the highest powered pistol in the game, using SP-13 armor piercing ammo. This actually didn't feel too bad. Um, it is a pistol. It's only 20k, so it shouldn't be as good as a rifle. The ammo's pretty expensive though. Still took 8 hits, which I wasn't too mad at. Not too bad. On to everyone's favorite part of the last video, the shotguns. Started off with Buckshot. Uh, the Buckshot will do the same damage, whether it's coming out of a Saiga, semi-auto shotgun, the pump action, it'll all do the same damage. As you can see, it took six shots, which isn't as bad as the helmet test video. I forgot how much it took, but wasn't that bad. What you guys think of this is up to you. On to the Taz, which shoots a 20 gauge. I believe 20 gauge is bigger than 12 gauge. I was kind of hoping that the 20 gauge would do a bit more damage, but it is buckshot. I don't know how good buckshot is piercing armor. As you can see, he is just tanking these bullets. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't really like this. I feel like shotguns should do maybe a little more damage. Maybe not, but I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm not an armor tester. I had some armor testers... Uh, comment on the last video and they didn't seem to like it but uh yeah on to on to slug rounds which actually got the devs to uh update the game if you guys are wondering what brought that slug update i'm pretty sure it was the video i did on the fast helmet where it took 33 slug rounds to go through i also left in the reloads for the saiga this time just in case you guys thought i was cutting up the clips last time when it took 33 hits i was not the devs even patched the game within eight hours of that video coming out. I don't know if it was for my video, you know, but you show a video showing 33 hits and, uh, you know, the next day it's changed. And, uh, yeah, they actually changed it twice, but uh, I haven't tested it. Still took 18 hits to the torso there. I don't, I don't know. I don't really agree with that. I don't want to tell the devs what to do, but uh, they could watch this video and uh, judge it for themselves. On to the assault rifles. I decided to use BS rounds this time instead of PS rounds. Uh, just because BS rounds are actually the best. The only reason I used PS rounds in the last video was because they're a good middle grade round. There's a ton of rounds for the AK-74. But uh, it, it made no sense to change it up. So I, I stuck to highest penetrating armor. As you can see, it took six hits there onto the AKM using BP ammo, which I think is uh, overall the best gun to use, especially in the last video. It one-tapped the fast helmet. Only took five shots there. Found a new reload glitch, by the way. I saw you guys fix the MP5 one, but I found this one. I uh, reloaded from the Gamma with a completely empty SKS, and it did that. Now, I show the SKS because I want to show you guys that the SKS and the AKM do the same exact damage. Uh, the damage is based on the bullet, not so much the gun. I also wanted to test the SKS at range again to uh, see what the damage drop-off is. And I hit him there, but this scav tried to take me out. Don't worry, this does not affect testing. My health has nothing to do with the guy I'm shooting's health. Had to redo this a bunch of times. Many Ford armors were wasted. He has back turn too, so I don't hit him in the arms. His arms kind of stick out in front of him. 
But every shot hit there. I slow mode it frame by frame and saw, and it took five hits. Which, uh, it, I guess there was no damage drop off there, which is interesting. Using the Val with SP6 rounds. I was a little disappointed with the Val, I'm not gonna lie. Seven hits. But it might be there for balance. I don't know if you guys have shot the Val, but it has an insane fire rate. Using the M4 here with M995 ammo. And it took six hits, which is not bad at all. The assault rifles seem to be in a somewhat decent spot. It would really have to be up to the devs what they want to do about it. And I tested the M4 here at range. I zoomed in with the ACOG. And uh, if you zero the ACOG to 150, it hits at the tip of the triangle pretty much at every range. If you're wondering why. But when you use the ACOG, it hits like at the 4 mark, I think, by default. But it took 5 hits with the M4 which was actually less than six hits up close, so that just shows the armor penetration chance. Now on to the big boy guns. Started off with the RSAS with the first of the snipers, and it took him out in two shots, which, gotta say, the RSAS has to be the best gun to use now. I mean, you can shoot it as fast as you want, and it will take someone out point blank with Ford armor in two shots. Using the SV-98 here, which I have a problem with the bolt action sniper damage. If they're gonna do two hits up close, they need to also do two hits at range because hitting someone with a bolt action rifle four to five times is a little hard unless they're standing still and are AFK. Using the DVL, same distance as the SV-98 here. I had it pretty standard. Even for the last video, I used the same spots trying to get the range right. But as you can see, it still takes quite a bit of rounds to take someone out with a sniper in the chest. Uh, it took five hits there. The SV-98 shoots a bigger bullet, so I guess it should technically have more damage, but I still think it should be reduced to two to three torso shots just to make the gameplay feel a little better. It's kind of annoying shooting someone five times in the chest with a bolt-action sniper rifle. That was a little Easter egg from my last video, by the way. I didn't kill anyone that time. <laughs> Alright, that's it for the video. I want to thank you guys so much for liking the hell out of that last video. You guys really liked it. I um I knew it would be a good video. I said I would do the Kiver next, but I decided to do the Ford Armor instead, as uh, the Ford Armor seemed like a bit of a better video. No one really wanted to see me shoot anyone in the head anymore. I, I actually wanted to see myself, like how good is the Ford Armor. And I was I was a little disappointed with the shotguns, also the Makarov, maybe like 20 hits, it should be maybe a little less than that. But again, it is heavy armor. I believe the devs want that heavy armor to be like a... Like, you leveled up in the game. Like, there's actually a point to level up. It, it can't be 100% realistic. There has to be some sort of game balance. There, you can't just say, like, oh, in real life, the fast helmet takes one shot with any rifle caliber. Which is pretty much true, by the way. If you get hit in the head with any bullet with a fast helmet, you are going to have a bad day. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you did not like the video. And subscribe if you want to see more content.